Grab your libations. No water here. I'll take two fingers of larceny. Your finest craft beer, barkeep. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentleman. And now, breaking the seal all over the finer things of life, Greg, Scott, and Dan. Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. What up? Welcome in, everybody. It's oh, the man. Unfiltered Gentleman. We've got quite the beer to talk about. Oh, yeah. In just a couple of you. <laughs> Holy shit. Dan just had his first sip. Yep. Uh, it's the Holy Grail for hop heads. It really is. So if that doesn't give it away, then you don't like hops and yeah. stuff. You guys whatever. have halos on your head, or is that just something <laughs> I'm seeing now? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I don't feel it. Uh, anyways, welcome in the Unfiltered Gentlemen. I soap am, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> soapy eyes. eyes. Yeah. I'm Greg. Oh, that's Scott. Hey, now. And Soapy Eye Dan over there. Hey, now. <laughs> it's getting deep. <laughs> Loa, <laughs> how's this, baby? <laughs> awesome, oh, damn, everything's funny to me right now. <laughs> oh, good. This would be a great show. Uh, thank you all for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about the show. That's how we spread the word. That's yeah. the only way. We, we don't got no monies. Spend it all on beer. Like That's right. right. It's $40 beer we're drinking like a real man would. Yeah. It's true. Like every That's man should. That's right. That's right. That's what we work for. Yes. Mm-hmm. Work hard for the money. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, shout out to uh, Arlington, Virginia. What? The oh, Arlington hey. area has uh, has overtaken Ottawa. Really? Oh, wow, really? Yes. Wow. Arlington coming oh, up wow. on the Ottawa, East Coast. you hear that? Yeah. You got to step it up. Come hey, on, you hosers. Get up there. Yeah, I got some work to do. Eh? Virginia's yeah. getting at you. That's yeah. right. So what? Uh, thanks to the East Coast for listening in. Indeed. Burp word of the week. If you guys are new to the show, we always do burp word because if we don't, Scott will just uncontrollably belt throughout the yeah. entire thing. He's burping all over. Yeah. That's right. At least if we make it a burp word, he will uh, attempt to do that word and then he gets comical. <laughs> I like how I turned into just Scott now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it used to be like for all of us. Right. At this point, we don't even try. <laughs> yeah, let's Scott's the one hitting it out of the park every time. <laughs> yeah. It's Larry Bird over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, I, I forgot to put on your rundowns, but burp word of the week, and for good reason, is 17%. Wow. Woo. Yes. That's going to be a challenge. 17%. 17%. Damn. Yes. It'll be a challenge to burp and then maybe a challenge to drink. At this of, point. Yeah. A lot of syllables. Woo. Mm-hmm. 17%. So, Damn. Uh, let's see if we can nail that or... Let's be honest. Let's see if Scott can nail that. That's true. <laughs> um, also, don't forget, coming up. <laughs> oh, very, I nailed it. Yeah, yeah, did you write it in? Because <laughs> yeah. I'll forget. <laughs> coming up very, very shortly. In fact, uh, depending on when you listen to this, could be like today or tomorrow. The Fat Tire Drink Up. Yeah. That's right. Yes. We need your Fat Tire reviews. It's real simple. Come on, drink it up. Drink a Fat Tire. Let us know what you think. You can uh, email, you know, like like write it out to uh, the unfiltered gentleman at gmail.com. You can leave a voicemail of your review, 805 538 beer. It's 2337. Uh, you can use a little voice memo app on your phone, record it, send it to us, whatever, you know, Facebook, all that good stuff. Get us your review of Fat Tire. We're going to play them on batch 50. I, uh, it's, a, it's a communal drink up, and I thought, what easier yeah. than a craft beer that everyone has access to? And of course, that it would be fat tires. So everyone That'd do be a, awesome. Yeah, everyone do a fat tire drink up for us, please. We much appreciate it. Then we get our beer science ringtone. From a bottle, from a can. Oh my god! I haven't heard this in a while. I love this song. You can get the ringtone on uh, the iTunes Store as well as on an Android. Go to Tunes T U U N E S dot co Tunes dot co to get it. Um, and then finally, last piece of business. Hashtag show us your beers. Yes. Oh, yeah. We want to see what you're drinking. So if you're on those social medias, tag us and then hashtag show us your beers. Need to see more beers. Yes. Not butts, but beers. Yeah. That's yes. right. That's right. See more beers. So. <laughs> see more beers. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hashtag show us your beers. All right. I don't think these guys can wait anymore. Oh, I will say we have uh, beer girls joining us in a couple of few. Oh, nice. All right. But I don't think these gentlemen nope. can wait any longer. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I'll say, I think I'll have myself a beer. <laughs> Dan's already called a taxi. <laughs> hey, man. I was like, I said the same thing as I think I'll have myself a beer. And then I was like, oh, yeah, 17% <laughs> alcohol. It's like, yes. shit. Yes, we are drink. I finally found it. Man, the search has been long and it's been hard. Oh, wow. Yes. I've been searching for this ever since the beer girl talked about it. 
way back on like episode four or something. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I yeah. know what you're talking she, about. And she talked about she was going to age it mm-hmm. and uh, save it for her wedding that may never happen. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's what she says about like the wedding, but she'd rather have the beer than the wedding. Anyway. Yeah, right. Marry the beer. Yeah. If she's drinking up, maybe she'd marry me. <laughs> it's 17%. It. Yeah, yeah. 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 Probably not. It's still yeah. take her at least a six pack. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> probably a case. So we are indeed drinking. She'd pass out first. Yeah. If she's lucky. <laughs> we are indeed drinking dogfish heads. 120 minute. Oh, IPA. my God. Oh, man. I've been searching for this so long. Finally got to try it. This is, you know what? I was very afraid about this. I'm going to talk about another beer in, in a couple of you that I was very let down by. Hmm. This, I was afraid to be let down by because there's so much hype. There's so much like, oh, everybody's got to get the 120. I even texted Beer Girl after I finally tried it the other day. I said, holy shit, you're right. This is amazing. And it is not overhyped. It is so good. Yeah. Uh, 120 minute IPA, ABV this year, 16.5%. IBUs, you want to guess or should I just say it? Just say it. 120. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. But I think the the alcohol, because it's so fucking strong, yeah. really balances out. It does. Here's what's, it, what's interesting. This is every, you know, going to go hop heads, uh, whatever, holy grail or something. Uh, it only has an 89 on Beer Advocate. Hmm. Yeah, I was wow. surprised by that. I figured something higher than, than 89. I will say, if I was to say anything about it, was that the alcohol, like, if you're just like, you don't know what you're drinking, <laughs> like me, I was like, oh, I guess I'll have myself a beer. And I had some, and I was like, holy shit, like, you can yeah. taste that right away, man. Since, it's hot. Oh, yeah, it's hot. I was like, holy crap. I just forgot I was getting myself into some 16.5%. <laughs> And I, you know, like I said, I've never ventured probably past thirteen. I think it's mm-hmm. probably as high as I've been. Well, glad I could pop that cherry. Yeah, for you. fuck, man. Uh, the bottle says, "What you have here is a holy grail for hop heads. This beer is continually hopped over a 120 minute boil and then dry hopped for over a month. Enjoy now or age for a decade or so. I'm going to age one for a while and see what happens. Do that. Yeah, it's only going to get boozier. More beer science. Mm-hmm. True that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So 20 years from now. <laughs> yeah. Episode uh, 5,000. Right. <laughs> Scott will be dead. In episode Pretty much. 5, but you guys enjoy. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so 120 IBUs, 16.5%. I, You know what's interesting? Woo. It's got a real high sugar oh, content. Man. <laughs> when you know when you're getting into it, oh, it tastes so good. Yeah. It's a shocker. If it was like, it's a surprise. what the percentage is. It's like, fuck. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, 25,000? It's, it's almost like drinking hard liquor. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like it just really having is. a glass yeah. of bourbon or scotch yeah. or something. When you know um, what you're getting into, oh, that's a good good bite, man. I like yeah. it. Yep. I like it. It's it's real. It has a real high sugary content. Yes. It almost drinks itself a little bit like a, like a Belgian quad. You know, like a sticky monkey. Oh, right, oh, right, right. Yeah, has, yeah. has like that that sweet. It doesn't have the flavor of a sticky monkey. It has that sweetness and that booziness of a Belgian quad that's been aged like that. Mm. Uh, it, you can definitely get the hops, but the hops are very well balanced and then masked by the seventeen yeah, percent. Almost, 17%. I would almost say like you know the way we're drinking it right now. I think we we split it in mm-hmm. three. And it's in, you know, like little like like whiskey cup, right. cups almost. I, I could glasses. say, oh, yeah, you, you could totally dig on it like that, I think would be probably the proper serving because it's like, it'll bite you in the butt, man. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> if you don't know what you're getting into, take a, you know, baby steps into this one. Yeah, I had, one, I had one over the weekend and it was funny. I was, I was having it and the lady friend was taking a nap. She's like, hey, wake me up, uh, you know, maybe hour or so and i was like all right i'm gonna drink this beer take a shower and then i'll i'll <laughs> yeah, wake you up you've yeah. been doing shit <laughs> well first of all i had a really nice buzz going <laughs> but i i found that this took me a lot longer to drink than i realized mm. like i'm still sipping on it and there's still a bit left in the glass i'm like oh it's been an hour i haven't showered yet all right <laughs> well yeah so uh, no this is definitely a sipper man i mean yeah. you're just chilling on this shit like i said i mean you know small portions dude like i said uh, i'm digging on these little glasses that we have because we're able to kind of you know, <laughs> regulate it a little bit. <laughs> I think if you're drinking it, you know, in a pint glass, man, you're going to be fucking killing yourself. Like at the end, like, holy shit. Like you'll drink it, but you'll be fucking. Yeah. All over the place. You'll be a Tasmanian devil. <laughs> That's right. So, Dang. um, but it's very good. Yeah. No, like Dan says, know what yourself, what, what, know what yourself, know what you're getting into. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely. Me, right? no, no. Yeah. You, you can taste it, dude. The alcohol, like I say, it almost tastes like, like we're drinking in like a whiskey glass. It's yeah. almost treated like a like a whiskey or something. Like this is some it's like high we need quality. one of those 
uh, square cubed ice Wait, things in there. Pinkies right? up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keeping it classy, everybody. Definitely, dude. Yeah, so it's really good. I was pleasantly surprised at how good it was. You know, I was saying, I, I was afraid it was going to be overhyped. I don't think it was overhyped. No. I think it's really good. It, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like more of a gentleman drinking this shit right now. Classy. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we finally live up to our name. I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, anyways, if you guys find it, let us know. Uh, let us know what you think. I want to. Hell yeah! I'm surprised it only has 89 on Beer Advocate. Well, I don't think there's that many people have had it. Maybe. Yeah, or I mean, it's like. a hard find, especially out here on the West Coast. Mm. Um, you know, Dale over there on the East Coast had a little easier time finding it. They, mm. You know, they brewed it. She found it, kind of thing, right? Because she was close. But yeah, but uh, you ain't doing a six pack. No, <laughs> no. Well, I mean, I, I they only sell them in four packs, and it was forty bucks for the four. Still pack. not Holy doing the four shit. pack. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, no, no, You're doing I'm, one. No, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, Spread that out over a couple <laughs> glasses, probably. Yeah, so two two down. Uh, I'm going to save the two the other two. Maybe you have one in like a year, the other one in a couple yeah, years, there you something go. like that. There so you go. See if it ages nicely. Yeah. Uh, that maybe. four pack should last you a while. Yeah, yeah, it should. Big Especially time. at 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> don't don't tell your lady friends yeah. how much you <laughs> not. Yeah, actually, I told her how much it was because it was funny. The, our BevMo, where I got it, is right by the, the pet store that we get all our dog food from and stuff and it's like you know what? i'm just gonna go check see if they have it they probably won't i yeah. searched the aisles nothing hmm. and i searched and searched, couldn't find it so finally i was leaving i was like ah, i guess i'll take i'll check the fridge probably won't be there there it was in the Ooh. fridge there's two four packs i almost oh, bought wow. two of them at bevmo? <laughs> at bevmo yeah oh shit I, uh, here where i where i Correct. reside no, um, i know <laughs> i almost i almost bought two of them but just couldn't just quite because it's there right but i just could quite justify the 80 bucks <laughs> 80 100 dollars on eight beers yeah fuck yeah 80 bucks 10 i mean if you think about it, it it's only 10 bucks a beer which you know like a parabola a bravo yeah. a sticky monkey you but, know, like all those special releases are only 10 bucks a beer also correct but you only have to buy one at a time exactly right? you're not right. forced to buy four <laughs> that was the downfall i mean and on top of that though i mean you could say like you you buy if you would have bought all eight of those like you're gonna fucking put those away i mean that's not a beer that you keep around like in the back of your refrigerator on draft day or something and then <laughs> somebody fucking pulls that shit you put that in this? no you motherfucker yeah, yeah you know you I gotta fucking stab you Oh yeah, no, yeah. you're killing people over that beer. That's ridiculous. That'd be something I put in like the back of the wine fridge. Exactly, yeah. exactly, or just the back of somewhere. And when you're ready to drink it, put it in the fridge, and you know you're going to drink that bottle. You know yeah. what I mean? Like drink it when no one else is around. Yeah, do not let that hanging around your fridge <laughs> like that. Come on, man. Yeah, that's that's too dicey. So. That's ridiculous. Anyways, one twenty minute IPA. Check it out if you can find it, and if you can find it, let us know what you think. Uh, at unfiltered yeah. gentleman, or excuse me, at I'm digging it, man. Gents and uh, the unfiltered gem on the other social medias. Yeah, it's good. Digging it. Digging. Just like the Macho Man. Dig it. <laughs> Dig it. Dig it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm snapping into this. Sorry. <laughs> have a grievance to share? It's time for a crotch talk. All right. I alluded to this earlier. I have a little bit of a grievance, grievance uh, to oh, share. Oh, wow. Uh, all over the Instagrams, you know, follow a lot of beer things on Instagram. And one of the very popular beers right now is Founders uh, KBS Stout. Uh, barrel aged out. I really like what Founders is doing. Like they have the all day IPA and uh, you know it's the session and a couple others and and they make some really good beer. Mm. And so I'd been seeing all this hoopla about the uh, the KBS barrel aged out. Um, found it at our total wine over here. I was like, oh, all right, everyone's talking about this. I got to try it. It's Twenty bucks for a bomber. Whoa, yeah. Uh. Twenty, yeah. So technically more expensive than one <laughs> well, of these. Well, say you could get two of these. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you get a couple more ounces too. Right. So twenty bucks for the bomber. I tried it. I'll tell you, I was very disappointed. Really? Yeah. I mean, look, it's not a bad beer. It's it's a stout and it's barrel right. aged and it's I tasty. Mean, yeah, people shelling out twenty bucks for it. Yeah, but you here's the I mean? thing: even when Firestone was still doing bombers with their special releases, a Sticky Monkey was sixteen dollars, and I drink that any day of the week over this KBS stout. Right. Uh, I was I was very disappointed in in the hoopla, and I want to know what people are thinking out there on the Instagrams, and and maybe it's because they don't have uh, Firestone nearby, so they're not getting all the barrel work stuff and, mm. and you know parabola. I mean that and, could be it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's funny. I was talking to somebody about beer who I just met the other day. Where he's like, "Oh, you're into beer?" He's like, "Yeah, I like beer. You know, whatever." Talking back and forth, and he's like, "Have you have you had this?" I'm like, "Yeah, you know, we just had a couple uh, picked up a couple of parabolas the other day and whatever." And he goes, "Have you had Parabajava?" 
It's like, fuck yeah, I do. I have one <laughs> aging in my fridge right now. And like that was like the the uh the proof that I knew about beer apparently. He's like, Oh, so then we really started talking about like beer. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got the Parava Java. I was like, Oh yeah. And it was interesting. But uh yeah, Parava Java I think was nineteen or twenty dollars. Oh my god, I'd I'd buy ten of those before I bought one of these for twenty bucks. So right. Very disappointed. I'm sorry to say. I'm sure I'm going to get some Twitter backlash over this, but hey, uh, it's because you haven't had Parabola or Sticky Monkey yet. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like, you know, yeah, it's 20 bucks. And like I said, if it was me shelling out the money, I probably wouldn't know any better because I'm not, you know, sipping on Sticky Monkey or anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like. I haven't had Sticky Monkey in quite some time. You're right. They released it a couple weeks ago. I'm, I'm looking for Ooh. it. Oh, okay. But you know what I mean? Like, I, I think like maybe the, the, the price is kind of setting the, uh, the hype a little bit. I think I so. Mean? Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it's kind of like when the Wii came out. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah, hyped because right. you couldn't get one. Yep. Not because it was super awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, it was well, like, fun, but it wasn't as good when as When anything new comes out, it's like $500. It's yeah. Like, fuck, this thing's amazing because right. I paid $500 for it. You and know if I mean? don't think it's amazing, then I must be an idiot. Exactly. Because I paid $500 for it. <laughs> Right. Or 360. Um, shout out to Annie. You can find her on Instagram at Beer Girl HTX. She's from Houston. She was out here in San Diego doing a little beercation. And I was checking out her post like a creep. And she was, you know, she had gone to like Modern Times and then she checked in at Monkey Paw. And I was like, oh, Monkey Paw is good stuff. I said, by the way, if you need any suggestions, like hit me up on Instagram or DM me or whatever it's called when they Correct. message you. And so she did. She's like, yeah, do you have any suggestions? Like, let me get my scroll out. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> yeah. I was like, go to Benchmark. Go to uh, Helix. Make sure you go here. And I just started naming off all these places. Uh, and of course, like the bigger ones too. And, and then I, I realized how much I know about San Diego from my you know more recent beer occasions there. I was like, hey, if you go to North Park, you can hit Mike Hess and Belching Beaver and uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, Rip Belching Curl Beaver. and uh, what's that one? Uh, something Thorn, Thorn Street. And I just started naming. I was like, if you're in North Park, I'm like shit i i know san diego a little bit <laughs> yeah, so, um, there you go so anyways uh she's like yeah that's awesome thank you so much and I'm like anywhere else in california you go let me know uh, i'll try and help you out too so she was very cool we talked a little beer back and forth and she found some plinies down there that she's taking back with her in houston so uh good job finding those there you go especially finding those south of san francisco right especially just okay. even knowing to look for those I yeah mean, you know that's pretty gangster yeah and she was saying she wanted to go to san francisco i was like well hour and a half north it's russian river and make sure you get some blind pig. There you go. <laughs> it's better than Pliny. Oh, man. Bang, bang. Yes. Uh, and finally for Crotch Talk, I ran a five. Deepers. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, that's Larry, closer than any of us are going to get. Le- Larry Legend <laughs> just. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> I don't want to say he drained the three. No, no it rattled no, no, no. in. Yeah, yeah it, 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 it did. Around. a toilet bowl yeah, swirl. Yeah, yeah. It, it took flushed. a lucky. Yeah. yeah, it took a lucky bounce. It flushed. But it, hey, a three's a three. <laughs> that's right. Three still three. counts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ran a 5K over the weekend because I'm an idiot. All right. But uh, it was the Subaru love run thing. Anyways, they had, a, they had a beer garden at the end. Oh, okay. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> you ran 5K? Yeah. Damn, that's gangster, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. Um, but then could run 1K probably. <laughs> three miles. Yeah, make one line and then go this way <laughs> and then, you know, shape out the K. <laughs> I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> right is that you did five of those yeah that's exactly how oh, it works okay. i was yeah. like dang man that's a lot yeah no, that's how it goes <laughs> uh but they had, they had a beer garden at the end and it uh, was uh being ran by the dudes at the last k yeah <laughs> <laughs> the last little lake there at the bottom of the k <laughs> yeah yeah you're nowhere near the start but, right, uh, right, right. <laughs> it's like where did i park <laughs> shit uh, anyways, <laughs> the dudes who I've been to a couple of times, the dudes brewery was there and they were, they were stocking the beer garden. So that was nice. Oh, right. Yeah. On. Um, if I, if, if I need, you know, if I have a grievance to share, it is that they had their, uh, boysenberry wheat. Oh, Ugh. oh, Ugh. no, Ugh. no, that's a, this does not sound appetizing wow. at all. No, it was no. bad. No, it, it was exactly how you think it's going to taste. Yeah. It tastes like fucking smuckers yeah. with oh, alcohol in wow. it. I, I couldn't not try it just for beer science sake. Correct. I mean, you but, got a job to do. Right. I, I have to be an objective journalist. Right. 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 But uh, thank God they had their IP on. Good man. God. Yeah. That was, that was rough. Would it, it was, even taste good like with peanut butter on a sandwich? No. <laughs> oh, man. No. Oh. And you take Belch and Beaver peanut butter and mix it together. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Make a peanut butter jelly <laughs> beer. <laughs> I think that just tastes like, like throw a beer up. Yeah. <laughs> beer witch. Yeah. Yeah, beer. <laughs> yeah, beer witch. Wow. Yeah, it was bad. So so don't drink that. Drink some of their IPAs, though. They do make good IPAs. Put it on your pancakes or something. There you oh, go. God. You wow. know what? They do have this uh, grandma's like pecan pie brown or whatever. 
and it's it's thick and it's sugary. But I was saying like this would be really good to reduce down and make a syrup out of. Like that would be good on. Oh, yeah, okay, it might be a good beer. See, size. there's an idea. Yeah. Don't the guy make a beer out of it? Just make alcohol syrup. Yeah, mm-hmm. no kidding. Right, all everything. Get drunk off some pancakes. Yeah, let's yeah. have some breakfast. That's right. Yes, please. Most important meal of the day. Mm-hmm. They go my ego. I'm trying to get drunk here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the run was at 7:30, so by 8:45, I was drinking beer. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Wow. It was a good day. Then went home and continued. That's when I had my first one 20 minute. I Man. It was a good time. So there you go. Indeed. All right. Let's glass this show up a little bit. Sure. It's the beer girl's back and Uh-oh. she's drinking and talking more tasty beers. What's this? A bra drinking beer must be a she devil. Hey all. I am back again. And this time I'm going to be telling you about a beer from New Belgium. You've probably heard of uh, New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger, but they have a special release Voodoo Ranger series, and my favorite one from that so far has been the Juicy Mandarina. This is one beer that I really, really wish wasn't just a limited release. It pours this beautiful orange hazy color, and it smells like a fruit basket, but when you taste it, it's got that thick mouthfeel, it's juicy, and then it has that beautiful hot bitterness at the end that just balances everything out perfectly. They do bottle it, but if you are in the Asheville, North Carolina area or the Fort Collins, Colorado area, I would highly, highly recommend going to get it on tap. It is so good when it's fresh on draft. The Asheville location is beautiful. It has a big deck overlooking the river. Last time I was there, I did get mooned by a boater, or everyone on the deck did, but that probably won't happen to you. It was hilarious, though. Any hooser. Um, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you next time. Yeah, yeah. What kind of moon was this? Yeah, <laughs> this is this a full moon, or <laughs> is this like a cottage cheese moon? <laughs> he must work out. Yeah. Yes. Anyways, uh, I was looking it up just now. Untapped, three point eight two, and on uh, Rate Beer, the aforementioned from last week, Rate Beer Dude. hasn't. Uh, hopefully, it hasn't been tainted yet. But overall, ninety three for the uh, the juicy mandarina. God, IPA. man, this dogfish head, man. <laughs> Chilling off this. You doing okay? <laughs> so good. Good, good. Digging it. Uh, find the... <laughs> I'm throwing. Find the beer girl at It's the Beer Girl on all the social medias as there well as It's the Beer Girl.com. She uh, writes a beer blog there, has uh, her reviews and other beercations and travelings. Yeah. Uh, she's recently gone to uh, Asheville, North Carolina, and she's talking about right. all the new beers that she's trying there. So Kicks it down with some gangster beers, too, man. Yeah, oh, she yeah. sends them she over. Does. God yeah, dang. That was man. good last Hundreds week. Hundreds and 97 Ooh. ratings. Yeah. And good mm-hmm. God. She don't fuck around. No, she knows what's up. That's right. So do follow her and check out the site. Uh, all right. Old timey word of the week. Hump the swag. Oh, wow. Hump yeah. the swag. Get ready to hump that swag. Dang. I mean, yeah. Swag was around Sounds back good. then? Yeah. <laughs> you got to hump it? Uh, it's not what you think. Oh, oh, wait a minute. It means carry your luggage on your back. Oh. oh. Hmm. Yeah. That's I, a hard one to incorporate <laughs> bubs into. It is. I see you guys thinking very, very yeah, hard. Wheels are turning. Yes, yes, they are. The dogfish head's impairing it, but the wheels are turning. Don't treat those bubs with respect. She'll kick you out and you'll be humping your swag. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. There it is. Perfect. Knocked it out of the park. Agreed. Talk Ish. about your clutch shot. Yeah, that's right. That's Talk about right. a Tebow home run right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was it right there. Oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. That's yes. right. Oh, and speaking of which... No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for the beer babe of the week. Oh, d- it is indeed. Damn. You okay over there? I, I need like four of these to like spread out over a month, I think. <laughs> Have like a drink a weekend. Yeah, God, man. Chilling off this shit. Have a third of a beer a weekend. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's so good. Make sure you guys go follow at Brews Babes Banny. B R E W S. B a b e s b a n n y on the Instagram. Oh, nice. Okay, yes, okay. showing the fellows right now. I see you. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah, <laughs> she's a uh, nice-looking young blonde girl that enjoys herself a taste. To say the beer. least. Yes, enjoys herself a taste of beer. Of course, I always repost and regram and whatever that social media talk is uh, on our Instagrams at the Unfiltered Gentleman. Of course, same with Facebook and Twitter at Unfiltered Gents. And yeah. uh, we're on we're on the Google Plus thing now. I just I nice. post and don't check. Nice. <laughs> and it's yeah. not enough to be cute. You also have to have a, a good tasting beer in your Absolutely. hand. Absolutely. Yeah. You I, know what I'm if saying? you're holding a Bud Light or no That's beer right. at all, 
Nothing. Isn't that isn't that weird? Like she she could be holding a Bud Light and it's like, oh my god, what's yeah. wrong with her? What is wrong with <laughs> her? She's yeah. holding that craft beer. Yeah, just all, ups all it of a sudden. Yeah. Oh yeah, ups everything. Yeah. <laughs> That that's what I do when I go to bars. I make sure to get like the craftiest, less known beer possible. It's like he just went from a three to a five. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Usually doesn't work though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of goes the other way around. Yeah, for guys. Yeah, for, yeah, for guys, it's like they don't fucking know. beer nerd. Yeah. <laughs> what are you homebrew too? Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that? Do you not like beer? Is I, that a bad thing? Yeah. You don't. You don't want me to make you beer? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Man, we should all just be gay. <laughs> Talk, you know, share beer. And oh all yeah, stuff. that's a drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, this is taking a turn. All right, I uh, surprisingly two weeks in a row watched movies. Mm. Hey, have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. You're a busy dude, man. That's coming yes. from me. <laughs> I'm. Surpri- I never watch movies. Yeah, I know. I'm tripping off that. Yeah, especially not in theaters. But uh, I, I was, I was uh, invited and had to go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Every guy. At oh least, yeah. At least in their early to mid thirties. Yeah, I caught myself looking for the lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Knows exactly what this song means. Not the suntan lotion. <laughs> oh, we got it. Anyways, yes, I did go see Baywatch. Right on. Uh, because good lord, is Zac Efron hot? <laughs> yeah, those abs. Yeah, that's right. You know what's funny? The girls that I went with both agreed that Zac Efron didn't do it for him. He's like over buff, which I didn't know that was a thing. Right. Wow. And I said, so Zac's over buff, but The Rock is hot. Like, yeah, Rock's hot. I was like, Rock is eight times his size. How is he not over? Well, you know, I, I don't know. I was thinking about that too. I guess there is kind of like a ratio. Like I was wondering, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I myself like there's there's a scene where like Zac you're, Efron, you're over buff too. Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> I get told that a lot. Yeah, yeah all the time. No, I try man. to keep from being over buff right you know? yeah. yeah i don't want to lose that it's hard know? but yeah, yeah, yeah you're doing the lord's work yeah exactly <laughs> but i mean it was part of me where they're like weren't they like carrying like a bathroom thing or something and like zach efron can obviously do it he's right. huge you know what i mean but it's like i was wondering like are chicks like attracted to that did they want to see like no your, your muscles all like that i guess the girls like, that i went with were not attracted apparently to not right uh, they much, much they much more attracted to the rock yeah and i guess i mean the rock's a big dude in general he's like what like six Eight, I think. That's or what it like is. That, or he's five. the rock on top of all. So of that. he's yeah. a big guy. So being that buff isn't so weird. Yeah. Plus he's the rock. Exactly. You smell what he's cooking. And yeah. Dwayne fucking I'm sh- Johnson. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure he calls his wiener the cock. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, he got boned down by the cock. The yeah. rock and cock connection. Seriously? Yeah. God, man. And his boulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the movie. Oh yeah. Let me let's talk about the movie for a sec. Yeah. About chicks in the movie or something. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took a turn for the worse. <laughs> Baywatch movie, we haven't brought up one chick yet. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh <laughs> maybe we are gay. <laughs> yeah. Uh there's the, no drop. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the ladies were also very attractive in the movie. Uh, the one who played CJ, who was oh yeah, previously played by Pamela Anderson. Oh yeah. Uh, well, not rocking the fake rack was equally, if not hotter than. Really? Yeah. Oh man, I don't and, know. And there were comedic moments built around her hotness. So See, it, yeah, it was good. Uh, it it was a funny movie. Obviously, it's going to be stupid. Like, don't go into this. It's Baywatch. Thing. Yeah, don't think of this as, as not being stupid because right. it's absolutely stupid as shit. Yeah, I mean. Anyone who watched the show, Bro, you, you know were funny? watching I, for the plot. I heard the original Stephanie in a, I can't remember her real name, in a uh, interview recently, and she was not in the movie, but they were asking her about like the show. She goes, well, the big difference is like the movie is a comedy, and, and our show was like serious and drama. <laughs> I was like, ah, yeah. were you watching the same thing I was watching? <laughs> yeah, your demographic was not the thinking type. <laughs> yeah. It said, I was looking for lotion. <laughs> right, and, and as if it wasn't bad enough, what do you think, Baywatch Nights was some great <laughs> show? Like, Come on, people. So anyways, uh, but it was funny. It was a funny movie, and I, uh, I, you know, out of 10, I'm not talking about like on a great movie scale. But Correct. On, on I mean, en- this is an Oscar worthy, obviously. On, on an enjoyable level. Yes. I'd give it a six and a half, maybe seven. All right. You know, I drank with it. Um, right. I mean, there's titties. Right. I mean, they're not uncovered. I mean, guys titties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zach's. There's another drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But anyways, is there any I hot would, chicks in this movie? There, <laughs> I feel like there's hotter guys than <laughs> chicks in this movie. There probably is, right? <laughs> yeah, Zach and The Rock are definitely the draw. Oh yeah, I mean they're hot. I yeah. mean, what do you want? Who wouldn't? Come on. Uh, anyways, so it's funny, <laughs> but 
But I would say don't go to movie theaters for this one. No. Wait till it comes out oh, on, on Red okay. I say, Good advice. you know, if I was going to watch this movie, I'd probably have like a glass of some Dogfish Head 120. Because <laughs> I feel like I can enjoy Hope anything. Have a date. Anything right now. I can enjoy anything right now with this Dogfish Head right now. <laughs> you get this man some yeah. water in an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Sark's going to get some business tonight. That's right. There you go. Uh, anyway, so that was Baywatch. All right, let's talk what, a little. Where does your want to go? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are hot in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Damn. Oh, the rock's looking good. Yeah, he is. <laughs> All right, let's talk a little booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. Oh, good Lord. Uh, craft beer sales have been pointing in a trend towards the layer the layer the lower uh percentage alcohol percentage apparently people are buying up those session ipas and those goes and everything else that's in the lower abvs hmm. Hmm. apparently uh we need to start buying more beer i guess so yeah. that's yeah. not us it's our job yeah well i think we're helping out tonight <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 16 i'm just telling you man that dogfish head <laughs> I don't know if I'm saving money by drinking like one beer a month or what. But man, this shit's amazing. <laughs> Keep you drunk for a week. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, beer sales in general for 2017 are down 0.7%. Uh, this is through uh, halfway through May. Whoa. But the good news on that, like that's bad. But the good news is craft beer sales are up two and a half. So mm. people are buying less oh, crap good. and more craft. Yeah, they are. So that's good. And if you think about it, that kind of makes sense because you don't need as many beers if you're trying to catch a buzz. If you're drinking like a tasty higher percentage, like say a 7% or uh, Julius IPA Correct. or something like that. You know, and I, I kind of wonder, like not to be like, you know, that guy thinking about that, but like I wonder how much of uh, uh, an increase is due to the fact that uh, Anheuser-Busch and like a lot of these other companies are like, you know, having interest in the craft beer yeah. and are buying them out. And I kind of wonder, like, you know, if that's like tipping the scales in craft beer's favor when really that really isn't tipping the fair in cra- the, the, you know, in, in craft beer's favor. Really. It's, in, it's interesting you bring that up because um, <clears throat> craft beer does have a sort of definition and it's like how many barrels you produce per year mm-hmm. and stuff. So they do exclude, you know, if, if InBev oh. buys, you know, uh, Wicked Weed or Golden Road or whatever, and then they produce over a certain percent or a certain uh, no amount of barrels per beer. year, they're no longer craft beer. Wow. So hopefully they're they're moving these out of that um, out of that category. Okay. Oh, it'd be interesting to find out, like, talk to the person who did this article, like, hey, did you not only obviously kick out the people making over X amount of barrels per year, but did you also kick out people just strictly owned by InBev? Right. You know, something like mm-hmm. that. You know, and do they still consider um, uh, Ballast Point to be craft right. beer? They're it's not, almost like you got to be They're not owned like, by Budweiser, but they're owned by another conglomerate. You almost got to be like indie craft now. You know what I mean? Right. It's almost got to <laughs> be like another fucking subcategory for it. Yeah. Craft craft. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, honestly, they shouldn't call the other ones craft if they're owned by yeah, Budweiser. Yeah, it should be like or, care about the craft beer or something. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck, but you know, it almost needs its own like subcategory. It's true. It's true. Mm-hmm. So it'd be interesting to find out like what they considered craft when they did this article, but- Hopefully, the craftiest of the craftiest. <laughs> well, well, the good news is I have to take some time off in July, so that should go up. Oh, good. Especially yeah. uh, oh, shit. the last story about the lower percentage. Those yeah, will go down. That, that, and, yeah, yeah. And you'll be getting all the high percentage beers. That's I right. think both percentages are going to go up if you're like, <laughs> <laughs> taking a month off there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to drain the well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the beer God. percentage went up three points. Yeah. <laughs> Supermarkets are out of beer. Yeah. <laughs> the Bevmo near Scott's house. <laughs> It's had to close temporarily <laughs> while they restock. So, oh man! Uh, and if you guys are looking for maybe a second job, you know about like secret shoppers that go to restaurants and retail stores. Yeah, you know, make sure like right, your, your Big right. Mac is tasty or whatever. Well, uh, I think we all need to head over to secrethopper.com. That's a job. That's now a thing. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, secrethopper.com is officially looking for people to secret shop breweries. <laughs> Oh, Hello. Yeah. fucking shit. Good night, everybody. Well, <laughs> got to hit the interwebs. I might go on my phone right now during <laughs> <Yeah>. the show. <laughs> Secrethopper.com. Uh, I, I looked at it. They have a, a section where if you're a brewery, you can sign up to be hopped, if you will. Wow. And if what you're you one of us, you can sign up to be a hopper. What about like a home brewer? You mean to be hopped as a home brewer <laughs> yeah. or to be the hopper? Or <laughs> hopper or hoppy? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, Both. I, I mean, I guess a home brewer could do it, except you know they'd have some guy knocking on their front door. So you kind of, kind of, kind of. Can I try your beer? <laughs> <laughs> Postal service gets a call like, "Yeah, one of your post officers wanted to try my <laughs> oh, beer." Man, okay. Strange, so yeah, so yeah, I don't know about true. that, but okay. But as far as like you know, being a secret hopper. Yeah, I, 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 I'm going to sign up as soon as the show's over. Yeah. I think we all should. Yeah. Um, that'd be great. Uber, I respectfully resign my position. Yeah. To become a <laughs> secret hopper. Yeah, exactly. Hey, do, do, do both. Yeah. You Why can Uber, Uber after and you hop. hop. Yeah, Uber no after kid- you hop. It'll be great. No kidding. So secrethopper.com. Check it out. Be a um, triple threat. <laughs> <laughs> drive, you drink, and you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's the triangle of awesome. Yeah. Yes. Speaking of Uber. Oh, sorry. Oh. Scott has a tales from Uber for oh, us. Hey. Does your cabbie make you queasy? <gasps> it's tales from Uber. Why, yes, I do. A quick little uh, funny story, hopefully. <laughs> there. That was it. Oh, it was good. Um, I was. I picked up uh, a couple of Asian young ladies in the uh, middle of L.A. Oh. Um, one of them could speak English, the other one couldn't. So, mm. like, one of them would be talking to me and asking me questions, and then she'd translate to the other one. So, we were just driving around, she'd be asking me questions about this and that. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, there's, like, the main office for Staples in L.A., which I didn't know anything about, but we drove by this Yeah, one. Staples Center. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's been drinking. Yeah, that's right. It's funnier when you drink the dogfish head. <laughs> we drove by... <laughs> We drove by this one place. It was like it said Staples, but it was like a, like a three or four story building, looked like offices and everything. Okay, I didn't see a store, so I'm thinking, well, I guess maybe that's where the offices are. Anyway, the the one that could speak English, she asked me. She goes, "Oh, Staples," and I said, "Yeah, Staples." And she then she said something to the other Asian girl, and then she after that, then she asked me. She goes, "Oh, Lakers." Oh. <laughs> I said, oh, wait, no, no, that's not the same staple as where the Lakers play. A little, that one's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Dan ruined the joke, didn't he? Sorry. That's okay. Damn it. <laughs> Did I tell you about the time I went to uh, South Dakota? <laughs> damn it. Are you serious? I fucking ruined it? No, no, no. Sorry, that's man. fine. That was, it was, it was damn it. kind of funny where they thought the little office building was That would have been Center. funny. But it was nice that they knew like Lakers, Yeah, Stables. I mean, they, yeah, they're from China or Japan or wherever. No, I, I don't know. That, they, that happened to me too one time. Like somebody had asked me where I got one. Girls? <laughs> no, wishes. So somebody had asked me where I got like a Laker shirt one time. I'm like, oh, I got it down at Staples, dude. Like, oh, I'm going to have to check that down at uh, Rose Avenue or whatever. Like, <laughs> like the actual Staples store. I'm like, no, fucker, Staples Center. What's your fucking problem, dude? Oh, dear. They don't sell fucking Lakers shit at Staples. What's wrong with you? Special. Fucking Especially Oxnard. It's all Raiders. I know. Stuff, right? What the fuck, dude? I don't know. That was funny. That is good. Um, all right. Last thing before we get out of here. Um, Jeopardy had a whole round of beer questions a couple weeks back. And so I thought I'd, I'd pose those oh, Jeopardy hey. questions oh, okay. to see if you guys got Let's do them. that. Jeopardy. Gotta yeah. But, but question. now that we've been drinking the dogfish head, this might just turn into an absolute shit show. Yeah. So could. we'll see how this goes. It'll make it better, I think. Mm-hmm. It might. Mm-hmm. Um, so these are, uh, I will give you the, the brewery and you will tell me the state. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could, I could tell you the state and you give me the brewery, but that'd be a lot of breweries. Uh, so anyways, for 200... Samuel Adams. What is oh brrr, I rung in. <laughs> Dan? <laughs> what is uh Massachusetts? Winner. Nice. Thank for, you. For four hundred. Mm. Sierra Nevada. Brrr, Dan. What is California? Right. For six hundred, <laughs> and this is something we had on the show a couple weeks ago. Highly IPA. What well, I'm sorry? Highly. Highly? Yeah. It was one of the ones you missed. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, I lie. Feel free to jump in anytime, Scott. Um, I guess. Scott, <laughs> what is Hawaii? No. Yeah. Dan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the brewery. What is Nevada? The brewery, no, was Cigar City Brewing. Does that make it any Cigar City? Cigar City. Mm-hmm. Where, where would you expect to have a cigar? What state? Oh, a state? Yeah. Fuck. I'm already thinking um, Havana. Brrr. Yeah. What is Florida? Yeah. All right. Hey, there right. you go, Scott. I mean, you're both bankrupt by now. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For 800, uh, Yingling. We talked about this on the show before. Yingling. Yingling. It's a very East Yingling. Coast beer. Ooh, there's a tip. A little bit of a hint. Oh, man. 
<laughs> making all the sounds over here. Dan watches Jeopardy. <laughs> Dan? Is that was Scott. Oh, it was? <laughs> yeah. Scott? Yeah. What is New York? <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Uh, I'm Maybe. broke. Illinois? Pennsylvania. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and for a thousand. This is for the win, I think, this, at this, this point. Is, this is this for is the all the question. balls. This is yes. it. Shinerbach. Shinerbach? Shinerbach. <laughs> oh, do we have to write it down? <laughs> <laughs> write down your wagers. <laughs> right, I'm writing it down. Hmm. Hmm. My pen's not working. <laughs> give me a new pen. Quick. Okay, give me the pen. All right, All right. I, I think I got the, the answer. Okay. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> I was um. like miming it for everyone listening that I'm writing it in. Scott's answer was, what is Colorado? <laughs> oh, fuck. And how much did he wager? Uh, everything. <laughs> Minus whatever I got. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to guess Colorado was a good guess. I like that one. Oh, thank you. They got um, me nothing. but Yeah. I'm going to yeah. guess on the- As per uh, usual. I'm going to say Washington. <laughs> oh, oh. And how much did you wager? Zero. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good thing. Smart man there, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Tejas. Oh. Oh, man. Yes. In the great state of Texas, Shinerbuck. I was never oh, very good okay. at Jeopardy. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't go on the show. No, good. That's thing. right. Mm-hmm. Please don't wager nothing. Yeah, <laughs> that was I'm smart a, of you. That's a, that's a good I, thing. Yeah, after I heard you wagered everything, <laughs> <laughs> I don't wager nothing. Yeah. Uh, good news for you, listeners. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man! Please, 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 please join us for the Fat Tire Drink Up. Please get in your reviews by June eighteenth. We would love to have them on the show, whether it's an audio or written form. Uh, also, make sure you check us out, theunfilteredgentleman.com. You know, we have all the beer of the weeks listed there. You can just click on beer. If you need a little beer spiration, yeah. check it out. There you go. Uh, thanks again to the uh, Beer Girl at It's the Beer Girl. And all I'll be drinking videos. this. I'll be beer spiring. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can also find her at It's the Beer Girl.com. Uh, 805-538-BEER. It's 2337 is our number. Our social media is The Unfiltered Gentleman. Uh, Twitter at Unfiltered Gents. Hashtag show us your beers. Make sure you hashtag him. Yep. Hashtag show us your beers. I think that's everything. And I think Dan probably needs a taxi. Or an Uber. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. He's going to have to Uber I need home. another one of those beers, I think, is yeah, what I need. Stay away from my goddamn fridge. Let's <laughs> grab a beer and I'll take you home. That's right. <laughs> yeah. One for the road, everybody. <laughs> road beer. Yeah. Road, road soda. Road soda. So... Anyways, all right, everybody, uh, let us know if you had the 120 minute IPA. I want to know what you think, as well as that KBS. Not a fan. Anyways, uh, everybody out there, stay hydrated. Get yes. your fat tire reviews in. And on that note, good night, everybody. Drink dog fish head. <laughs> Not too much.